Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike Eric Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about a very different game engine out there called the Drag Engine. Drag E-N Gen. So Drag Engine. I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, this is a highly modular open source game engine. It's under the GPL and the LGPL license. It's broken down into a bunch of different layers. The best way I could probably describe it is through this diagram. Now, before we get too far into this, I'm gonna warn you. First off, I sound horrible. I have a terrible head cold, and I'm also gonna try and keep this video short as a result. So hopefully my voice remains all the way Way through it. All right, so we're looking at the basic systems that go together here. You've got the G, the L, the E, and the M. The G is the game script layer. Uh, they have their own scripting language. It's Dragon Script. To me, it looks a bit like Ruby. On top of that, there's support for other languages or potentially things like Python and Smalltalk, I believe, were both discussed. Uh, then they're on below that layer of the game script where you would write your high level game logic. You would then have the launcher. This loads the OS specific launch process, manages the engine instances under, uh, underneath, and so on. Then you've got the engine. This does resource management, the file system, and module management. And then underneath that, you have all the various different modules that go together, rendering, physics, and so on. So it's a way of kind of bringing all of these systems together called GLEM. And that, that's kind of the, the heart of the Drag Engine. Uh, so Drag Engine is available at dragondreams.ch. We'll get to some more details about it. But right now, what we're going to do is take a hands-on look at it. Now, I got to warn you right off the hop, running this IDE, first off, if you're running Optimus, make sure you run it on your dedicated GPU or it won't start. And I've also found some... Uh, graphical issues here. So weirdly, when you're in launch mode, this little rocket ship over here where you create a new project, test a project, and so on, uh, it, it's it's clean and clear. You'll see everything looks fine. Uh, it's just when we go into the other module tools there, the user interface for some reason gets really fuzzy. So here, example, I am in the world editor. This is modularly implemented, but all of a sudden you can see all of the stuff in it is, it's just a little blurry, to be honest. Now, this is where you would do uh, height map editing, vegetation creation, and so on. All your tools switch here. So when you switch between these modules, this IDE itself is sort of like a host for all these different apps. And there is a weird and eclectic mix of tools that are built in here. There's a very robust engine uh, with a certain lack of polish or documentation to figure out what the heck you're doing with these various different things. So obviously, Rocket Ship, this is where you create your project, the home place, which is where we run and test our example. Uh, we've got a... Uh, animation editor tool here. So you got uh, for setting up animation rules, playground views, and so on. Uh, we have a conversation system here. Uh, we have a uh, font editor tool. We have a game definition editor that if I play around with this one, I tend to always crash. So let's leave that one alone. Language pack editor, you have a particle system tool. Then you have a rig editor. You have a skin editor. You have a sky editor and you have a speech animation tool. And you can do things in here, for example, I come in here, I can set, you know, the details of my sky. Let's go ahead and do that. And then you hear, see a preview of your sky in action. It's, it's a very, uh, again, eclectic mix of tools here. Everything is modular and open source here. So if you wanna get into the details of things, it's all out there. Uh, so if you wanna jump in and take a look, now we're gonna go back over here. Uh, you're building your things down into these Delga files. When you install this guy, you've got two installers. You've got the IGDE, which is what we're seeing right here. And then you've got the GUI launcher, which can be used to launch these Delga files you create. Let's go ahead so you can build one right here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, we can go ahead and do a test run. Hopefully Hopefully I don't get a crash here. Uh, this is uh, one of the examples that came that I'll show you where you can get these. This is an audio sample. Uh, da, 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 da. No, don't want to save that. We'll go ahead and run this. And we can see the uh, audio system in action here. Um, so here we're getting a 3D environment. Let it load up. Here we go. So we walk down the halls. Nope, I crashed. All right, never mind. And that that is kind of... Yeah, that's part of the experience. Uh, like I say, when, when I feature something on this channel, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm ultimately recommending it, but there is a lot here. There's a lot to build upon. That there, There's a lot of effort put into this one. In fact, including if you head on over to uh, Visual Studio Code. So let me just load that guy up, not owed code. All right, here we go. You will find there is actually uh, an editing tool right over here for uh, Dragon Script language. There is syntax tooling and so on that there is, they've created a uh, extension here for handling their particular script. In fact, uh, you come down here, here are the scripts controlling that audio test we were just looking at. Here you can see a sample of one of the scripts in action. And like I said, to me, it looks a lot like Ruby, a little bit of Ruby, a little bit of Python say, but this is the dragon script that is powering everything that you see here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, 
I don't know, it's a proprietary language. I know some people really get turned off by that. But again, the language area of this, of the GLEM, the game, so the G was gameplay. Anyways, that, that G level, you can swap out to have other uh, languages if you so wish. But you can see what the coding uh, profile is like in the in the Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Engine. Uh, anyways, so here we are. We're going to head on back over a little bit of the details about it. First off, this is the wiki. This is where the majority of the documentation is. There is a lot of documentation here, um, but you're going to struggle a bit to figure certain things out. If you want to go ahead and check this one out, you can uh, download it. As I mentioned, it's available for Linux, Windows, and Haiku. Um, there are two different pieces. So there's the game engine. This is what you use to run uh, compiled fi files you make. But what you're going to probably want is the IGDE. This is your... Uh, um, it, development environment basically just bring on down the installer it, it's it's trivial in size as you saw earlier on there's also a visual studio code plugin um so all the documentation you're going to find is in the wiki the forum is basically empty and then on top of that we also have an examples repository uh if you want dragon engine itself drag engine yeah i'm gonna go drag engine uh it is available under the lgpl3 license because it's modular you can actually have things in different layers so as you don't muck with the underlying layer it won't muck with your game code so your game code won't need to be open sourced or anything you'll just have to open source the changes you make to the underlying engine and modules themselves you can also implement things as as you wish in your own modular manner. Um, the code is 93% C++. If you want to get in here, there's details on actually building it. Uh, they're all right here. Uh, you're using the MingW toolchain and the Scons build system. Uh, if you want, also, there is a set of examples out there. Oddly enough, there's no examples showing case, showcasing almost all of the tools that we saw in the editor. These are more projects for things like, again, audio to see it in, the, that was that 3D world that we saw for a brief, brief second before it crashed for some reason. Uh, all of them are kind of broken down here. Basically, just clone this repository. You can open things up. So you got things here like uh, networking, sample, video, player, audio, test, uh, example applications show stuff to show you how UIs work etc but really nothing for like creating a 3d game which I found a little bit interesting what you're gonna probably want to do is jump into something if you want to check this guy out you're gonna probably want to jump into something like for example the audio test which is what we see over here like so it, it's a hierarchy underneath go into data go into scripts and there you're going to find uh, you know the majority of your logic so here is the game starting logic over here you see a breakdown of you know, what classes you inherit from, what the callbacks are, what to work with, and so on. And you're probably going to start from there and go on. Uh, but yeah, that that is, in essence, the, the drag engine. Um, if we head on back over here, if you want a bit of a breakdown, this came from gamedev.net. They said, you know, so you might be sitting there going, why would I use this? Well, this is from the author's own uh, reasons for game developers. You can use your scripting language of choice. The hardware is fully abstracted. Uh, update the engine and modules is handling by respective teams. You only have to worry about updating your game. No need to write specific content for a specific system. User choice of modules takes care of that for you. Modular coders, you can kind of slot in parts of a system and just work on your own particular area and so on so that that is that is the dragon engine or drag engine drag engine we'll go with uh again if it's on this channel it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm endorsing it you because know, you're probably going to be sitting there going why would i choose this over unity or unreal or Gato or so on and so forth and you know what the only reason i can really give you is you check it out the code speaks to you or their, their language speaks to you, something about it speaks to you. It's an open source project with a ton of maturity and tooling behind it. You know, maybe it's something that you are interested in. Specifically also the DragonScript programming language part of it is also open source and is available as, under the LGPL v3 license as well. It's a weird engine. Uh, I don't really know any other way to say it than that. Uh, there's again, there's, there's a lot here. Yeah. So I'll leave it there. Anyways, let me know what you think of Drag Engine. Have you actually used it? Did you uh, have the stability problems that I do? Uh, or did, was your experience much better? I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say. I also have a strange feeling, especially because of the UI things and the fact that it uses MingW, that the lead platform for this one is really Linux. And I bet you this one probably runs a bit better in Linux, but I'd be interested to hear. So if you run this guy and check it out in Linux, let me know what you thought. But again, another completely free open source project out there. I'm never going to dump on an engine like this some guy has put a heck of a lot of work into it there's a heck of a lot of tooling in here it's got all of the source code out there for a community to learn from and complete programming language written there there is a ton here so yeah if it looked interesting do be sure to check it out all the links will be in the linked article down below let me know what you thought and i will talk to you all later